Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, another secret of the XK8. And this one's connected with serpentine belts. Back in the day on much simpler vehicles, what we'd be looking at there is the fan belt. A simple belt that went around a couple of pulleys and drove the fan on your car. And then maybe it drove an alternator. And then maybe it drove um, power steering. And then it drove an air conditioning unit. And these days, fan belts are a rare thing. What we have on the Jaguar is what's called a serpentine belt. It's so complicated that you take it off, and to be fair, I have to look at a picture to remember which pulleys it goes round in which order. And it's got two faces, it's got a smooth side and a rib side. So, you know, don't feel ashamed if you have to uh, think hard about how to put one of these back on. But it does raise a bit of a conundrum. And that is, how do you know when it's time to change your serpentine belt? Because unlike the fan belt, you can't really um, see all of it easily. It doesn't degrade that badly anyway. Um, the stretch in it, you can't see the change, you can't pull on it because there's a, a tensioner that's putting a, a spring-loaded tension on it. So do you just wait for a garage to say you need it changed? Or have Jaguar put something in there that tells you when the belt needs changing? Yes, they have. A little secret. I'm going to show you now. So I'm on the um, passenger side of my British spec car. And you've got the main top, uh, sorry, it's the bottom hose for the radiator here. The big rubber hose anyway. And you can just pull it easily out of the way and look in the gap. And you can't see anything because it's dark. So I'm going to turn on the torch. Okay. And you look through this gap and you can see a good deal of the belt. Where I'd like to draw your attention to is the pulley, which is now in the middle of the shot. That is the tensioner pulley. That's on uh, an arm, and the arm is pivoted on the bolt just below it, and that is stretching your belt by pulling it towards us in this picture. So if I put my hand down there, I won't be able to move it by hand, but this is pulling this way to stretch the belt. And if I was strong enough, I'd be able to push it that way and slacken the belt. It's heavily sprung loaded. So, how does that help us? It helps us because there are some markings put on it, especially for our use. Here's one I prepared earlier. This is an old and actually uh, damaged um, tensioner but that is sitting in the same orientation as it is on the engine. So the basic action is there's a spring in the bottom and it's pulling over like that and it's stretching your belt. And obviously as the belt gets tired, it goes further and further and further over there trying to tension it. Let's just look at the bit I was struggling to show you on camera. Um, it is visible with the naked eye, it's just very difficult with uh, trying to stick a light in there at the same time as sticking my camera in there. Uh, so here it is. So this section is bolted to the engine and can't move. This is the bit that swings backwards and forwards trying to tension the belt and there is a pointer just here. And there are three markings here. Two of them are close together they're the good markings. One of them is on its own, that's the bad marking. And obviously this, this tension is relaxed, which means it's come all the way over towards me. When the belt goes on, the pointer might be touching that one. That will line up with that. That is the tightest the belt could be, the shortest the belt's allowed to be. It's allowed to stretch until it gets to this marking. This is the, when that's pointing at that, 
is that please change me marking. And as it moves over towards this and it gets, it moves from there to there faster, but it moves from there to there. This is saying, no, I'm really stretching now. That is the absolute outside because the tensioner hasn't got a lot more travel before it drops the serpentine belt. So basically, you'd like your belt, when you look at it, to be between these two. If it's pointing at this one, you're okay, but you should consider changing. If it's in this gap over here, get it changed as soon as you can.